From here, you can take the screens any way you want. You have a dribble screen where Warren can drive at the defender, hand off on a dribble screen. And it's almost like the old weave, and we take what we got off of it. Just watch a series of the weave. But I wanted a penetrating, slashing weave. Here we go. Penetrating, slashing weave. That's it, good. We'll be working on layups later. But the name of the game is, we want to go at the basket. And screening and cutting will take you that way. What will happen a lot, Warren may drive this way to do a try a dribble screen. Justin's overplaying him all the way, and we just got the back door cut off the dribble screen. Drive left. And so again, no matter what you run on offense, it ends up to be screening and cutting and communicating. It's really important. Team that talks a lot, interchanges a lot in the proper way, they're going to be in good shape. Now, I can't help but note this. No matter what level you coach at, you'll notice that the winning teams exhaust we before they ever think of I. The teams that speak and I did this, or I did this, or I got to get this, uh, they don't do very well. They never play up to the potential no matter how good they are. That's why some of the greatest players in the game have never put on a championship ring, because it was always what I would do, what my stats would be. Those who put the rings on, those that do the job and play up to their potential, are those who talk in terms of how we did. We, and part of being we is good, healthy, wholesome communication, not critical communication. Let me give you the basic set we like to run when our team is pretty big. Again, you fit the offense, change the offense to fit your players. But when we have pretty good size, which we've had in recent years, we start off with two postmen. And basically, if the perimeter players just back up a little bit, but stay on the floor. Just get a little wider. I've always said in basketball, there's three kind of players. Perimeter players, those that can face the bucket and play. Or post players, those who play with their back to the bucket. And finally, get a guy who's good enough to play with his back to the bucket or face the bucket, like a Leitner, like a Ferry, like a Pippin, like Adrian Dantley did, many of them, they're what I call post-perimeter players. Post-perimeter players. So here we have three perimeter players, but let's just look at it. The rules of screening and cutting never stop. If Matt, if the five man wants to get his buddy loose, the four man, he sets a real good screen, which we talked about. His screen mate, teammate uses it and cuts to get open. And the screener comes back to the ball. We have a basic rule that any time the ball hits the wing, the on post screens away, and the off post will cut, and the screener comes back. And we make them cover that right there before we'll try anything else. Everything good comes from making them stop our inside play, because inside out's the name of the game today, all right? So we have a situation where any time it hits the wing, the postman screens away, the screener comes back to the ball, okay? Put the ball in the point guard's hand. So we got two man screening going on inside when the ball hits the wing. Out here, we never change either, but we'll look at that in a minute. Let's just hit and get the screen inside. So the screener scores. Screener gets an excellent shot. 